Nick, the wind's blown garbage all over the backyard again. Oh, no. Who will clean up all this mess, Sally? Sounds like a job for the Super Cleaner Uppers! When trash strikes, we clean up. We're the Super Cleaner Uppers! Uh-oh. Slimy, rotten apple core alert. I'm not picking that up. Me neither. It's yucky. You need a super duper cleaner upper. It's the cat. It's the cat in the hat. There's no trash this cat can't handle. Ah, oh, yuck. What is that? It's a yucky apple core. The yuckiest of all yucky apple cores. Uh-huh. I, uh, yeah. I can't do it. I just can't do it. We can't just leave it in the yard. Lucky for us, I know someone who's a real super-duper cleaner-upper. Who's that? Sandy the Sandhopper, of course. What's a sandhopper? Imagine a shrimp that's smaller than small. She lives at the beach. Can we pay her a call? Yes, maybe she can teach us to be better cleaner-uppers. Let's go to Sea Waddle Shore and ask her. Your mother will not mind at all if you do. <laughs> Did Sally and I visit Sandy the Sandhopper on the Sea Waddle Shore to learn how to be better cleaner-uppers? Sea Waddle Shore? <laughs> that sounds like a neat idea. Just make sure you hop back by bedtime. We can go! We can go! I know, I know! To the thingamajigger! <laughs> Are you ready? Yes, we are! Are you steady? Yes, we are! Are you sure you're ready to explore? Yes, we are! Then buckle up! <laughs> Flick the jigger, my wizard! <laughs> Isn't this fun? <laughs> Here we go, 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 go! On an adventure, the thing of my jigger is up and away. Go, 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 go. On an adventure, we're flying with the cat in the hat today. We're going to see Sandy at Sea Waddle Shore. She's the best cleaner upper that you ever saw. Here we go, 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 go. On an adventure, go, 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 go. Sandy Sandhopper's place, the Sea Waddle Shore. But where's Sandy? She's probably still asleep. Will she mind if we wake her up? No, 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 no. She sleeps all day and gets up about this time. Maybe we should shrink down a little before we say hello. Press the shrink a doodle Sally. <laughs> <laughs> I do like my bowl to be clean when we visit Sandy the Sandhopper. I see a tiny smudge. There. <gasps> oh, now look what you've done. <laughs> Whoops. Where exactly does Sandy live? In a hole in the sand. Somewhere around here. Oh, that's why we can't see her. Hello? Sandy? Where are you? Sandy? Oh, Sandy! <laughs> 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 Whoa. Yeah. Ouch! I'm... I'm stuck. Ugh, that smells way worse than a slimy apple. Ugh, what is this stuff? It's like yucky garbage. I think it's seaweed. Rotting, slimy seaweed. Yuck! 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 Careful! I don't want to see seaweed in my bowl. Oh. It's a shame that this beautiful beach is covered in stinky seaweed. We need a super duper cleaner upper to get rid of it all. Sounds like a job for me. Sandy! Time to get cleaning. Cool! Wow! Sandy, these are my friends Sally and Nick. Hello! Hi! Pleased to meet you. I hope you like cleaning up because, by the looks of it, there's plenty to do today. Can you show us how to be good cleaner-uppers? Hmm, let me take a look at you. Mm-hmm, okay. You look like you're up for it. All you need to do is copy what I do. Got it? Yes! yes. 
Good. We don't have much time. We've got to get this beach cleared up lickety-split. Let's get cleaning. Whoa! Nice jump. How are we going to keep up? I have just the thing. Cool. All right. Set your go-go jumpers to Sandhopper. And away we go, go, go! Our job for today. We'll clean this area here. Huh? All that seaweed? How will we ever clear that up? Do exactly what I do. Mmm. -hmm. Delicious. You eat the seaweed? Of course. I eat and I eat till I get the job done. Come on, gang. Let's get cleaning. <laughs> What could be more delicious than stinky, rotting seaweed? Uh, we'll have to tell Sandy that we can't eat rotten seaweed. She may like it, but it's yucky for us. Ooh, yuck. <laughs> Sandy, are you okay? I can't eat this stuff. <laughs> it's horrible. Ooh. What is it? It looks like the wrapper from a candy bar. Someone must have dropped it on the beach. Now that is gross. It is. And there's more over there. Oh, no. It's okay. That's the sort of stuff we know how to pick up. You do? They most certainly do. When it comes to this kind of man-made mess, Nick and Sally are... Super cleaner rubbers! <laughs> Sandy can eat up all the rotten seaweed. And we'll clear up all the other stuff. Now that sounds like a plan. Any last-minute trash tidying tips? There's only one secret to this work. Dive in and keep at it till the job's done. You ready? Yes! <laughs> Let's get, get cleaning. cleaning! Go, go, Sandy! Clean that sand! Nick and Sally lend a hand! Mmm, <laughs> delicious. Ha-ha! Oops! Uh-oh! Look out, Cat! Soggy paper ball heading your way! Whoa! Whoa! You saved me! <laughs> look how much trash we collected! And look how much seaweed Sandy ate! Oh, my! You really are super cleaner-uppers. <laughs> I'm not finished yet. <gasps> Me neither. We missed something. <laughs> uh, it's uh, too big. And too stuck. <clears throat> it looks like an old hair clip. <sighs> I can't move it. But we're super cleaner-uppers. We can't just leave it here. A stuck giant hair clip. What can you do? Simple. Just whistle for thing one and thing two. Get that thing out of my bowl now! Hooray! Awesome! Yeah! yeah. Well done, team. We got, got cleaning! cleaning. <laughs> Thanks for your cleaning tips, Sandy. Now we need to get home and clean up my backyard. Thank you for stopping by. Thanks again. Bye. See ya. Ta-ta for now. Did Sandy tell you the secret of cleaning? She said, dive in and keep at it till the job's done. Dive in? I can do that. <laughs> Sandy did a great job. But it's a shame she's so small. She can only super clean up one little part of the beach. <gasps> Look! More sand hoppers! They're cleaning up all over the beach. That's the other secret of cleaning. If we can all work together, we can super clean up the biggest of messes. Like we do at home. That's right. Now, press the bigamaboodle, Nick. <laughs> There's one more job to do here. <laughs> Hooray for Super Cleaner Uppers! <laughs> Are you ready, Sally? You bet! Got
got your super cleaner upper gloves on? Yes. Let's get cleaning. Super cleaner uppers strike again. Hmm, maybe we shouldn't throw this away. Why not? Well, we thought the rotting seaweed was garbage. But to Sandy, it was food. So maybe it's a meal for some other creature. Like an ostrich or an elephant? Or how about my old friend Riggles the Worm? For you, Riggles. Worms love slimy apple cores. And you two are the superest, duperest, super duper cleaner uppers ever. Super cleaner uppers! <laughs> 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 Hi! My friend Squirrel is getting ready for winter. To do that, he stores lots of food in his home. Ooh! An acorn! Now, where was I? What kind of food do squirrels store in their homes? <gasps> Did you say acorns? Well, you're right! Squirrels store acorns and other nuts for the winter. You got it this time, but next time, I'll stump you for sure. <gasps> there. Whoops, miss. I got it. Wow, swimming in the pool is fun. But now I'm all wrinkly. Me too, wrinkly like a turtle. Hey, do you want to play turtles? Sure! Let's tip the water of the pool and use it as a turtle shell. Okay. <clears throat> oh, my! It's the cat! The cat in the hat! You're not going to dump out that water, are you? Sure! We want to use the pool as a turtle shell. <gasps> but it's water! <gasps> water is important! It's precious! It's... Ah! Wet! <laughs> yeah. And we can always get more of it. But not everyone can. Some creatures have to be very careful with every teeny tiny drop. They don't waste water. They take care of it. But how can we do that, Cat? <clears throat> My friend Sonia the Sand Grouse knows. Huh? What's a sand grouse? Well, she's a bird who's sandy and grousy. She lives in the drippity dry desert and knows all about making the most of every itty bitty drop. Why don't we go and ask her? Yeah! Your mother will not mind at all if you do. <laughs> Mom, can Nick and I go to the Drippity Dry Desert to meet a sand grouse who knows how to take care of water? The Drippity Dry Desert? <laughs> sure, have fun. <laughs> we can go, we can go! I know, I know! To the thingamajigger! Buckle up! <laughs> Shut the thing of my jigger is up and away. Go, 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 go. On an adventure, we're flying with the cat in the hat today. We're off to the desert of Drippity Dry, where the water is precious, and we'll learn just why. Here we go, 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 go. On an adventure, go, 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 go. There it is, the drippity dry desert. Wow, look at all those big hills and rocks. Can you see Sonia? No, but she is small. Maybe we should shrink down just a little. Press the shrink a doodle Sally. <laughs> Anyone see anything sandy and grousy looking? Uh, cat? Not now, fish. 
We need to find Sonia. Sonia! Uh, cat! Sonia! Cat! Now, how are we supposed to find her in all this smoke? Smoke! The thing in my jigger! <gasps> ah! Run! Run! <laughs> Goodness me, what could it be? Maybe the wheel wasn't broken, or the motor was Ola, or the fuzzy-o-meter, or... Hmm... You forgot to fill up the radiant hoozle with water. <gasps> I did. You're right. And without water, the radiant hoozle will turn to jelly. Can we fix it? Yes, but we'll need some water. Let's think. Where can we get water? Hmm. <gasps> Fish! What? No. I need every drop. Right. Fish needs his water to live in. We need a faucet or a hose. You are so right. <laughs> not a drip, not a drop. <sighs> the drippity dry desert is well known for being drippity dry. <gasps> hey, your friend Sonia the Sangros must know where to find water. Of course she does. We'll find her. <laughs> Sonia? Huh? Look. Oh. You aren't Sonia the Sangros. <laughs> no, I'm Jeffrey the Jerboa. I don't look at all like a Sangrouse. Hi. We're looking for Sonia because we need to find water. There's not much water in the drippity dry desert, but I know something that's almost as good. Can you show us? Turbo Jerboa! Follow me! <sighs> it's so hot. I don't know how you can hop around so much, Jeffrey. It must make you so thirsty. I won't be thirsty for long now that I've found these. Seeds? You can't drink seeds. Sure can. Seeds have a little bit of water inside of them. I get water from eating seeds. Here you go, catch. One for you and you. But how do you get the water out? A squeeze a doodle That's what we'll do. We'll ask for help from Thing 1 and Thing 2. water in them. But there's only one tiny drop. I guess we still need to find Sonia the Sangros to help us find more. Thanks for showing us the seeds, Jeffrey. You're welcome. See you later. Turbo Jerboa! Sonia! Yoo-hoo! Sonia! Wow! <laughs> Ow! Oh, careful, cat. You know I'm kind of prickly. I do. Ah! <laughs> Meet Harriet the Hedgehog. These are my friends Nick and Sally. Can you help us find some water, Harriet? Water is hard to find in the drippity dry desert, you know. How do you find water? I dig. Give it a try. Okay. okay. <laughs> my hole is really big, but I can't see any water. Oh, we're not digging for water. We're digging for bugs. Bugs? Sure. There is plenty of water inside a bug. But that means you have to eat bugs. Yeah. Eating the juicy, watery ones keeps me from getting thirsty. Care to try? You're too kind. But I can't. Well, suit yourself. But all this talk is making me thirsty. And we still need to find Sonia the Sand Grouse. Nice meeting you. See ya. Happy trails. Sonia. Oh, Sonia. Where are you, Sonia? Cat, <gasps> is that you? Over here. Oh. <gasps> So you're Sonia the Sand Grouse. Yes, and these are my chicks, Lulu, Cecil, and Cedric. Aw, they're so tiny. And fluffy. And so ootsy-wootsy-cutesy. <laughs> and 
And they're very thirsty. But where's the water? I don't see any. It's in my feathers. You carry water in your feathers? Sure do. Looks like I'm nearly dry. I need to collect some more from the stream. Want to come along? A stream! That's just what we're looking for. Delightful! Ugh. Did I say delightful? Ugh. Are we there yet? Don't worry, Cat. We're here now. Water! Hooray! Water! We found water! I soak up the water in my feathers just like this. <laughs> and you carry it all the way back home. So my chicks can drink. I see now that this water really is precious. It sure is. Every itty bitty drop. <gasps> but we still need some water for the thingamajigger. Only, how can we carry some back with us? We don't have special water carrying feathers. Like Sonia. But this cat does have a hat. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> Thanks, Sonia. Without you, we wouldn't have found water. You are very welcome. <laughs> Hooray! It worked! Thanks to Sonia the Sand Grouse. Water really is precious in the drippy dry desert. Yeah. From now on, I'm going to be careful how I use it. Wonderful. Me too. Oops, I shouldn't splash. <laughs> <laughs> Jack, Jack, all systems are go, go, go. Nick, press the thingamaboodle. <laughs> In the drippity dry desert, we learn such a lot. Water is precious in a place that's so hot. The same's true back home. We need to take care to never waste water, no matter where. Oh, is it time to play turtles? Not yet. We need to take care of the water in the pool, remember? We can use it to water the plants. Or wash the windows. Or perhaps give a cat a bath. <laughs> It won't go to waste. Sonia would be so proud. Oh, I do enjoy lending a helping hat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hot and thirsty. We better find someone to interview soon. Well, how about me? I'm a camel. I live in the desert. <laughs> Let's do it. Welcome to Hat Chat. Today we are in the desert interviewing Carmela the camel. My question is, don't you get thirsty out here? Sure I do, but I can drink a lot when I'm thirsty and store it for later. If I have to, I can even drink a whole bathtub full of water. A whole entire bathtub full of water? I can eat lots too. I store the extra as fat in my hump. Then I can walk for hours in the desert heat and not feel hungry or thirsty at all. Hop back on. I'll show you how fast I can go. This has been Nick and Sally in an interview with Carmela the Camel. Hello. There's a mother frog sitting in the water, and she's laying all her eggs. As time goes by, they're hatching one by one. These babies start as swimming tadpoles, but they'll soon grow little legs. When they're older, they can leap but never run. It's amazing what they turn into. A different shape as they're growing too. We call these changes metamorphosis. That tadpole started in the pond and soon develops little lungs. Its gills are gone and it can breathe the air. It starts to move around on land, then its tail disappears. Now it's gone a froggy grin from ear to ear. Leaps and hops from log to log. That tadpole is now a full grown frog. It was swimming free, now it's hopping happily. It's amazing what they turn into, a different shape as they're growing to. We call these changes metamorphosis. I'm in an African savanna on a jungle patrol, surrounded by green at this old waterhole. A good place to be, at least that's what I think. For so many animals come here to drink. 
The black and white zebras arrive in a crowd. So do the monkeys, who are terribly loud. The elephants plod down their very worn path. They drink and they spray. That's an elephant's bath. A giraffe braces his legs, dipping down for a sip, with his extra long tongue flipping over his lip. And there's a small ox pecker perched on his back, eating ticks, eating fleas. It's his favorite snack. But all of the animals step to one side when the king of the beasts wants his thirst satisfied. They're all shapes and sizes, with fur, skin, or feather. An African water hole brings the creatures together. Hi, kids. Don't you just love the rain? Fish love water. Hey, the sun's out. That makes me think of a very colorful question. Sometimes after it rains, something colorful appears in the sky. Do you know what it is? Ooh, a rainbow. That's right. You got it this time. But next time, I'll stump you for sure. Ah, what a nice day.